Hello everyone. Welcome to Tiwi World Channel. If it's your first time here, you are welcome, and if you are a returning subscriber, that you for always supporting. In today's video, you are going to know steps to take to start speaking in tongues. As a believer, you know that it is essential that you pray in tongues to build up your spiritual strength, power and stamina. According to the book of Jude chapter 1 verse 20 but e, beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost, as a Christian it is important and essential that you pray in tongues. If you desire this gift of the Spirit, then this video is for you. This video is an avenue for you to receive the gift of speaking in tongues. I encourage you to watch this video and watch it to the end. Please, subscribe, like, comment and share. God bless you. I want to pray but I don't feel like praying. I don't know what to pray about. I don't know where to start from. I will just have to go to bed without praying. Isaiah chapter 54 verse 15 Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me, whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. Whosoever shall gather together against me will fall for my sake. Any gathering that is not of God in this neighborhood, I scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4 For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, I pull down every stronghold rising against my life in the name of Jesus. I pull down every stronghold rising in this neighborhood in the name of Jesus. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 5 Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ, I cast down every imagination, and every high thing exalting itself above the knowledge of God in my life and in this neighborhood, and I bring them down in the name of Jesus. Somebody is trying to stop our meeting tonight. You are right. There is a shaking and the atmosphere is tense. I will find out. Powers of Darkness Reveal to me who is trying to stop our meeting tonight. Psalm 97 verse 3 A fire goeth before him, and burneth up his enemies round about. Let the fire of God locate every power that is not of God in this neighborhood in the name of Jesus. She's sending fire. We have to stop her right now. I have seen her. We have to stop her. I heard all what she's saying in her prayers. She waging war against dark spirits in this neighborhood. We cannot go ahead with anything until she stops praying. What are we going to do? We cannot touch her but we can distract her. Then distract her. We have so many assignments to carry out tonight. Nothing should stop me. I will do something about. Do it now. And be quick about it. Wow! This movie is so interesting. I love it. I am so in love with their love story. Go and distract your sister. She is hindering our kingdom. Go! Go! Sharon has to see this movie. I should not watch this movie alone. I love their love. So healthy and pure. I have to drag Sharon here. Psalm 7 verse 9 O let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but establish the just, for the righteous God trieth the hearts and reigns. Let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end over my life in Jesus' name. Let every wickedness going on in this neighborhood come to an end in Jesus' name. Why are you up at this time? It's just past 10 p.m., sis. What are you doing? I am praying. You have to see this movie. What movie? I am in the middle of something. I will watch some other time. We have to see this movie now, sis. You will never regret it. Trust me when I say you will thank me later. All right. All right. Let us go. Wow. This movie is really interesting. I told you. I told you. Do you want to continue watching or not? I want to continue watching, Joyce. I told you. Job done. You did a great job and you will be rewarded accordingly. 
We can go on with the assignments of tonight. Shall we? Do you see why you have to start praying in tongues? Because it's the language of the Spirit. There is a limit praying in your understanding can take you. Praying in your understanding means you are praying in the language you understand. When you pray in the Spirit, the enemy does not understand what you are praying about, they have no idea, because it is the language of the heavens. 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 2 For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men, but unto God, for no man understandeth him. Howbeit in the Spirit he speaketh mysteries. The kingdom of darkness is thrown into confusion when you pray in tongues, because they don't have any idea of what you are saying. Praying in tongues is a higher level of prayer realm where you generate greater power. You are speaking mysteries at that point that only God understands. When you pray in tongues you are building up yourself with spiritual power, strength and might. If you pray in tongues, it helps you to pray for long hours. Praying and understanding limits you in the place of prayer. Jude chapter 1 verse 20 But ye, beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost, the Amplified Version says But ye, beloved, build yourselves up, founded, on your most holy faith, make progress, rise like an edifice higher and higher, praying in the Holy Spirit. To build more capacity in the spiritual realm you have to start praying in the Holy Spirit. If you do not know what to pray about any time you want to pray then, you need to be baptized in the Holy Spirit. When you pray in tongues, I mean when you pray in the Holy Ghost you will always know what to pray for. Romans chapter 8 verse 26 Likewise the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Anytime you are tired to pray or don't feel like praying, just start to pray in the Holy Ghost. One of the ways you can start speaking in tongues or praying in the Holy Ghost is by laying of hands. Acts chapter 19 verse 1 And it came to pass, that, while Apollos was at Corinth, Paul having passed through the upper coasts came to Ephesus, and finding certain disciples, Acts chapter 19 verse 2 He said unto them, Have ye received the Holy Ghost since ye believed? And they said unto him, We have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. Acts chapter 19 verse 3 And he said unto them, Unto what then were ye baptized? And they said, Unto John's baptism. Acts 19 verse 5 Then said Paul, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people, that they should believe on him which should come after him, that is, on Christ Jesus. Acts chapter 19 verse 5 When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Acts chapter 19 verse 6 And when Paul had laid his hands upon them, the Holy Ghost came on them, and they spake with tongues, and prophesied. A spree-filled person can pray for you and you will be filled with the Holy Ghost. You have to discern so that you are sure the person laying hands on you or praying for you is a genuine man or woman of God. Another way you can receive the spiritual gift of speaking in tongues is tarrying in God's presence. You can hunger and thirst for this gift of speaking in tongues and you will be filled. You have to tarry meaning that you will stay in the place of prayer, study scriptures related to this context and be intentional about receiving this gift. Acts chapter 1 verse 13 And when they were come in, they went up into an upper room, where abode both Peter, and James, and John, and Andrew, Philip, and Thomas, Bartholomew, and Matthew, James the son of Alphaeus, and Simon Zealots, and Judas the brother of James. Acts chapter 1 verse 14 These all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication, with the women, and Mary the mother of Jesus, and with his brethren. The disciples tarried in the place of prayer. When they have prayed earnestly, this was what happened. Acts 2 verse 1 And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. Acts chapter 2 verse 2 And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. Acts chapter 2 verse 3 And there appeared into them cleven tongues like as of fire, and it sat upon each of them. Acts chapter 2 verse 4 And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. If you desire this gift of speaking in tongues, follow these three steps. You have to repent from your sins and old way of life. Acts chapter 2 verse 38 Then Peter said unto them, Repent, and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. The second step is to be ready to receive receive the gift of speaking in tongues, 
and also acknowledge and believe in the gift of speaking in tongues. Act chapter 11 verse 17 For as much then as God gave them the like gift as he did unto us, who believed on the Lord Jesus Christ, what was I, that I could withstand God? The third step is to ask God for this gift or speak to a pastor to pray for you to receive this gift. If you don't have any pastor, just say this prayer. Holy Spirit I receive by faith the gift of speaking in tongues. Joel chapter 2 verse 28 And it shall come to pass afterward, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions. Holy Spirit pour out your spirit upon me. John chapter 7 verse 38 He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Out of my spirit shall flow the power of the Holy Spirit as I beginning to speak in tongues. The Holy Spirit will fill your mouth, and you feel that you want to start making utterances. At this point you have to release yourself to the Holy Spirit and open your mouth. Allow the words coming from your inside flow out. You will see yourself speaking words that you can't speak normally. Continue steadfastly as the Holy Spirit gave you utterances. Act chapter 2 verse 4 And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and began to speak with other tongues, as the Spirit gave them utterance. Keep praying in tongues, keep building that which you have received. Jude chapter 1 verse 20 But ye, beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost, thank for watching. You can drop your questions in the comments section. Please, subscribe for more inspirational content. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. God bless you.